Ah, the Mueller report. Nearly an entire presidential term of investigation and intrigue revolving around the U.S. election and campaigning system. What effect did this report actually have? How many people have been brought up on charges and for the allegations laid out by Mueller? This many people. This many people. And also this guy, forgot about him. So, to understand, I read the entire Mueller report, front to back. And today we're going to go over every person that has brought up on charges as a result of Mr. Mueller. Shouldn't be too hard. These are blank pieces of paper. I don't want to destroy the environment. in no particular order because Rick Gates, political consultant, he was charged with lying to the FBI and financial fraud. Michael T. Flynn, he's a former Navy Lieutenant General and the former National Security Advisor. Uh, he lied to the FBI. Don't lie to the FBI. Richard Panedo, he ran an online service where he would commit identity fraud essentially. He also has by far the best picture. So. For this next one, we didn't actually have a picture of these people because classified information and all. But it's 13 Russian nationals and three Russian companies charged with conspiracy to defraud the US government, conspiracy to commit brain fraud, and identity theft. Michael Cohen, the one you've heard of, former lawyer, lying to Congress. Paul Manafort, the other one you've heard of. He's a lobbyist, a former lawyer, and a campaign advisor. He was charged with a lot more than the other people. Tax evasion, bank fraud, witness tampering, and failure to disclose a foreign account. Another guy who definitely looks like he woke up and decided to commit treason, essentially. Constantin V. Kilimic, political consultant and obstruction of justice. George Palpadolis, it'll be on the screen how his name is spelled because it's very hard to pronounce. Political advisor, and he lied to the FBI as well. Don't lie to the FBI, it's a surefire way to get you in jail. Alex van der Zwan, a heartthrob, such a pretty treason, such a pretty, pretty, what is the word, traitor. Uh, he's a lawyer and he was lying to FBI and impeding the investigation. But oh, look at that face. The Pringles man. Just kidding, it's Roger J. Stone. He's actually pending prosecution, but he's been indicted. Uh, he was a lobbyist, a strategist, and an author, obstruction of official proceedings, making false statements, and witness tampering. Jesus Christ, Roger. Last one. Again, we didn't have photos of them, so it's Putin again because 12 Russian intelligence officers who have not yet been tried. So they are charged with identity theft, conspiracy to commit uh, crimes against the United States, and conspiracy to launder money. But there's something wrong. Yes, all these people were mentioned in the document, but there has to be something more connecting them. There has to be, there has to be. I need to take a look at my notes. I got it, I got it, I figured it all out. It's all in my notes, it's all right here. Everything, everything is connected. We got the Russian islands, or the Russian trifecta with Cohen Island, with a hotel on it, it has a hotel on it because he tried to build a hotel in Russia. And then everyone, like basically everyone was employed by Manafort. But Flynn, Flynn, Flynn is all alone, except how did I not see this? Flynn was the national security advisor for, and Manafort, he helped run the campaign. The political consultants, Pinetto, how did I not figure this out? His name is only mentioned like 1,500 times in the document. The thing that connects and the thing that connects Flynn with the Russian triangle, with the capitalism colonies. Oh my God, I can't believe it. It's, 